Hi everyone, welcome back to Moonwork Forward. My name is Vas. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple yet professional looking logo in Figma. And if you've been thinking how to create one but don't know where to start, this video is for you. Before we jump into Figma, let's go over some key principles for designing a great logo. First, keep it simple. The best logos are minimal. Think of Nike, Apple, or X. Uh, you know what? X simple shapes, no unnecessary details. Number two, make it memorable. Your logo should be easy to recognize at a glance, avoid overly complicated elements. Number three, think about versatility. Your logo should look good in different sizes and on different backgrounds. Test it in black and white. Number four, choose the right typography. If your logo includes text, Pick a phone that reflects your brand personality. All right, now that we have the basics covered, let's go into Figma and start designing. Of course, there is no universal techniques or methods uh, for creating a logo, but I'm going to show you these three examples so you can understand what you like best and replicate those techniques while creating your own logo. As a starting point, I simply decided to take my initials, which are letters V and B, to somehow represent them graphically. To create the first version, we need to use the grid for our frame. It will help us to make our logo more precisely and the logo itself will, le will look much cleaner. So to do this, select the frame, go to layout grid and set the size to four pixels like this. Now let's use this pen tool and create this shape. Okay, I'm starting with just like putting those points really freely on the canvas. Yeah, like this. At this point, it doesn't really matter how I do this, as I can always edit it. Okay, let's remove the stroke and fill this shape with a black color, like this. Now I will just edit this shape by clicking Enter, and then I can select each point and move it where I want it to be, like this. Okay, now when this shape is done, I'll simply duplicate it by holding Option key and dragging this shape like this. Then I flip it horizontally and place it like this. Okay, perfect. Now let's create this B letter. To do this, let's use this pen tool again. I will now just draw this simple shape and set this weight, stroke weight to 12 pixels. Okay, like this. And let's duplicate this shape like this, and let's keep it like this for now. Now, let's do the corner radius, okay, like this. And now let's move our anchor points, they, they would be at the same position is this letter. Okay, now uh, that we have this letter B, let's combine these two shapes, creating a union selection, and let's make it uh, this stroke as a vector shape. To do this, I'm using command option O hotkey combination, Yep, like this. And then we need to create this angle, these corners. 
So I will select this object, click enter, and let's remove these unnecessary anchor points. I will select the tool, pen tool, hold option, and just click on this as an unnecessary anchor points. And now I can select the needed anchor points and make this angle. Yep, just like this. Uh, but to make sure, let me use this shape. Okay, I missed it a bit, but that's that's okay. I always can edit it. Yep, just like this. Yep, just like this. And the same with this size. Yep, just like this. Okay, that's how I know that this is the same angle. Okay, perfect. Now let's combine these three shapes. I go here and click on Union Selection. Okay, our first logo type is done. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in black and white for this example, but now you can play with colors. You can edit those shapes how you want this to be. So this is really simple and uh, you see how using this grid, it really helps you to make your logo more clean. And that's how you know that every anchor point is arranged to each other how you want it to be. Okay, now let's move on with the second option. Okay, so here I wanted to create some abstract shape. At the first glance, this shape may look meaningless, but if you look closely, those spikes are created by the outlines of the letter B, and in the center we have letters V. I don't know if you can do something similar using your initials, but it's worth a try. So, how to do this? Let's break it down. Okay, so first let's create a semicircle. I use this ellip, ellipse element. Yeah, we can start like this. Then I'm gonna create a rectangle, place it like this. Then we go to this menu and create a subtract selection. Yep, like this. Now I'm gonna use common option O hotkey combination. And now we have this semicircle. Now I'm duplicating this and change the size to, yes, 714. Okay, let's fill it with black. Now I'm gonna create a group out of these two shapes. Now, yeah, I'm placing it like this, and uh, let's create a group out of these elements. Common G. And now I can duplicate this group uh, using common D combination. I'm using this 30 degrees angle and just click command D until I have this wheel. Now uh, we already know how to create this V-shape using a pen tool, so I won't be showing this again. Let's just make the same as we did for our first logo. Okay. Now we have this shape done, and I also added this line to, I think it fits composition. And uh, if you want to add some 
text signature to your logo. I personally used this font, which is called Montserrat. The, I think this font fit, fits this composition perfectly. You may try to use another font or stick to this one and yeah that's how you create this second logo and now let's move to our third final option okay so for this third option all you need to do is to type your initials with some interesting font if you are unsure what font to use you may use this google fonts service as you can see for a preview i just type my name and then I selected this old style uh, serif filter which really helps you to find some interesting font and if you didn't know Figma uses the same Google fonts library so you don't need to download anything you'll just find the font then like uh, I decided to use this one which is called Cormorant SC then you just position those letters in some interesting way and that's it just so you know before you decide that okay you may use this as your logo type you need to select those letters and click command option o again and that's how you convert these letters into vector objects and don't forget to create a union selection just like this now it is your logo you may you may use this for any purposes you want and make sure to place them on some different backgrounds that's how you know that the logo is good and and try it in different sizes as well okay now you have three possible ideas for your logo now if you want to learn more how to present them for your client or you want to learn how to make mockups like this please put a comment below and i will try to make a video about this as soon as possible also please make sure you are subscribed to our channel hit the like button for this video and see you soon